I just got nothing for thrust. I just ain't much there. Just ain't much there. What? Okay, grab some maze. Get this stuff over my arm here. Yeah, that's right in the way of all those lines. I knew it. Yeah, we're gonna go with it though. What? That one's tight. That one's tight. I need the right to come up a little bit early, I think. Alright, here we go. You ready? Let's go! out of my face, but I'm bouncing around in some thermals at the moment. Yeah. Got to get a little altitude here. Woohoo! Yes, it's bouncing. crossing the creek right now so if I go down it'll be way on the other side you'll have to go all the way around what well you would I would not just have to wait for you
going up. Going up, up, up. Little thermals popping around out here. Not much. Brownfield makes some nice thermals. So anyway, if we still are recording, I want to point something out. If you uh, have been flying for a while and you had lots of good takeoffs, are you still out there, Tylene? Okay. I just wanted to make make sure. Anyway, so if, if we're still recording, if you've been flying for a while and you're not having uh, aborted takeoffs or bad takeoffs, and you, get, you think you got it down pretty good, and then all of a sudden one day you have a failed launch. It seems like you just can't get it back. You keep having failed launches. Well, that's kind of a normal process, I think, for most folks. Because as you get better at these things, you get more confidence, and you do better. And then your confidence turns into complacency. And you'll discover that you're not going through all the steps that you need to go through order to ensure a good launch because as we all know if your wings all wadded up in the middle of the field and you're doing kiting practice you can give it a tug and it'll probably fly but it might not and when you're carrying a motor you got all your gear together it's late in the day you don't want that it might not be going on. So if you get a good layout and you do it like you're supposed to, the chances are you'll get the launch you deserve. And if you don't do everything you're supposed to, well, don't be surprised if you're setting it all up again. So there's my infinite wisdom about how to fly paramotors.
up right here. Well, I don't see any evidence that the cows have been in the corn. And I don't see any evidence that the cows are sneaking up to get in the corn waiting for me to leave. The other day, I was parked up here. Well, I haven't been over to the campgrounds in a while. I guess I could fly over there. I'm sure they'll be real glad to see me.
old abandoned uh, motorhome back here. Don't know. Maybe it quit running and they just pulled her back here to have a little camp on the creek.
Yeah. I guess he decided to do it. I'm not sure I see some deer out there in the field.
What are you doing right now? Would you mind coming out and seeing if my strobe's on? Because I don't have a mirror. Actually, you know what? Maybe you don't have to. Hold on a second. No, that's okay. Don't worry about it. It's not important. I'm gonna be, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be down for dark anyway. Ain't nobody up here but me. Say what? Yes. I need some good paramotor people to come fly around and with me.
it's picking up. That's what's going on. It ain't going real hard. Okay, let me get over here and get turned around so I can make a decent approach and get out of my seat without having to get in a hurry. different on the ground than it is up here though all right I'm coming down no I'm not it's too far away hiding out here right underneath me and he's being still as he can be he thinks I can't see him <laughs> right, right behind the house right here between the house and the school All right. my engine's dead so here we go, like it or not, right in the swamp, sure enough. Set her down, John boy. <laughs> 